Our forum's Aviva Premiership Rundown, the show where we take a look at the opening betting values for the matches this weekend. And joining me now is our in-house sports expert, Richard O'Hagan, and we're going to be previewing all six matches for round three from a betting perspective. Richard, welcome to the show. Hi, Natalie. It's nice to be back again. Now, first match on Friday is Worcester versus the Harlequins. Uh, the visitors are favoured, priced at 1.53, with the home team priced at 2.6, odds courtesy of Paddy Power. After two defeats, is it possible that Worcester can turn it around? What do you like here? Well, lastly, I think that Worcester will inevitably turn it around, but they won't do it this week. Harlequins are particularly smarting after losing at home last weekend, and they're going to be coming out hard and they're going to be coming out strong. It's their first proper game away from West London, and they're going to want to make a point to the rest of the Premiership. So on this one, I'm going with the market, and I'm going for a Harlequins win by between 10 and 15 points. Sell Sharks versus London Wasps, also playing on Friday. Sell Sharks are the favourites, priced at 1.66. The Wasps are priced at 2.2, and the draw priced at 18.0 with Paddy Power. The Sharks have been a surprise team. Is it a risky bet here to bet the favourite? I think it is, because the Sharks have done well. They've punched above their weight. They've come back well from a, a very poor season last year. London Wasps, on the other hand, they've had two narrow defeats, and they'll be looking to get off the mark this weekend. I think they're the team to do it. I think I'm going with the away side on this occasion. Leicester Tigers versus Newcastle Falcons playing on Saturday. The Falcons surprised us last week by winning to Sale, and the Tigers have lost a few key players due to injury. Who are you backing in this match? I think it's very difficult not to go with the Tigers for this one. They're a much, much stronger side. The Falcons did play very well against Sale last weekend, but they also struggled against Bath on the opening weekend, and Bath just beat Leicester last weekend. So I think it's going to be a very comparable scoreline here, and I'm going for Leicester to win by between 16 and 20 points. Also playing on Saturday is the London Irish versus Exeter Chiefs. Both sides have a win and a loss to their name, but who will triumph in this match? Richard, what do you like here? This is going to be a big game for the Irish, a big home match in uh, uh, Reading Football Club's ground in Reading. They're going to make a big impression here. I think Exeter, it's another long trip up to London for them. And I think it's just going to be too much this time round. So London Irish for me to win this one. OK, final match on Saturday is Gloucester versus Northampton Saints. Gloucester are a better side than their lowly position might have you believe. But the Saints are also a strong side. Is this a tough one to call, Richard? Uh, where's your money going in this match? It's a very tough game to call, Natalie. I think that Gloucester are, in some ways, the surprise package because they've managed to lose both their opening matches. And I'm betting on them to actually turn that around this weekend. Northampton have had some tough games in the opening two games. And I think that Gloucester, at home, with the King's Home crowd behind them, is going to be very difficult for Northampton. So I'm backing the home team. OK, that brings us to our final match of round three, playing on Sunday. It's Saracens versus Bath. Saracens have taken a bonus point in both of their matches so far, but Bath, Bath will be a tough opposition. Richard, what do you like in this match and where's your money going? It's an excellent game, athlete, to tie up the round, really, first against third. I think Bath, coming off that hard game against Leicester, might find it a bit of a struggle against Saracens at Saracens' home ground. So I'm going to back Saracens to win this, but by no more than five points. It's going to be a really tight one. OK, well, that wraps up round three. Richard, I'll see you next week for uh, round four. I'll be here.